Hello everybody. Good afternoon. How are you doing today? Good to see you all. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, great. So how is going? Everything great, thank you. Okay, wonderful. So let's start our today's lecture. So in today's lecture, I'm going to teach you a little bit briefly about the classes. And then chiefly, I would be focusing on CSS selectors, right? So this is the whole uh, motto. So let's see how can we start with it. And let me go to your uh, folder. So this is your folder. And uh, here in the folder, uh, let me create a new uh, folder, subfolder. Guys, any problem from the last lectures? No, sir. Sure? Yes, sir. All of you are happy? Okay, good. So let me create a new folder over here. So new folder. And I will start sharing this code with you very soon. Don't worry about it, right? So since this was quite a initial stage, so I thought that you can type a few, uh, you know, pieces of code yourself. But I am going to, you know, start sending you this code through GitHub, right? Don't worry about it. I will do a little bit of GitHub today also, as the time permits. So let's do CSS. Selectors, right? So this is the name of the folder. And here we are going to learn that how do CSS selectors work, right? So CSS selector work like this. That for example, I say, hey, you all students must wear black hat, right? And then I say, those students whose name are starting with M must wear white hat, right? And then I say that those students who are uh, joining who, who joined in the beginning of the lecture the very you know first student who joined the lecture must wear a badge right so basically this is what css lectures are but this was definitely a high level introduction so let me give you uh, exact introduction about it right so let me come over here and let me go to your folder uh, css uh, selectors, right? CSS selectors. This is the folder. And let me have a new file. And let me name it knowing CSS selectors dot HTML. Right? Admit. Okay. And let me populate this a little bit. So if I just I HTML Sorry, sorry, H T and then tab, and I'll get this skeleton scaffold H1. So, knowing CSS, you know, I'm very enthusiastic to teach you this course. Why? Because I take this triumph that when my students go and get successful in their life, they will go get a job out of my lectures, right? And then they will sit on their desk and my words will echo in their ears that, hey, this is the way to do it. I really feel very happy about it, right? So learn this course from me and go and get a good job, right? Okay, Kamalesh, yes, you're going to do it? Okay, yes, great. Sir. Yes, sir. So all of you must do it. Okay, so let me, let me just, you know, open it for you and where it is. So let me get to, no, no, maybe over here. Okay, let me open a new tab actually. So I say that localhost and then localhost there is uh, so many folders in localhost. So what was the name? Web programming this one, right? And here you have this folder CSS selectors, right? And within CSS selector, we'll open this file knowing CSS selectors, right? So we get to know that how do we style by using various CSS selectors. So I have made an H1. Let me make some more headings. Maybe I can make H2 also, right? So this is H2. 
right? Let me make an H3 also. So I say this is H3, right? Let me just put a few elements here and there, and then I will slide them, I will style them. And then maybe I will put an order list over here. And within that order list, I am going to have a list item. So maybe this is first, and then another list item. Maybe this is second, another list item. Maybe this is third. We don't put these spaces normally. I don't know why I'm putting them, right? And then maybe we, we can have this within this third, let me have let me have a high calcal uh, order, unordered list, maybe unordered list, right? Is having a list item, maybe inner, right? Another list item, uh, maybe, what can we say? Uh, inner, Second, right, another list item. Maybe this is in a third, right? So I have all these list items over here. Let me do one more thing. Let me copy this entire thing from here. Control C, right? Let me paste it over here. So we have got two lists. Maybe within the list item, let me put a horizontal rule, right? So horizontal rule is a horizontal line, right? So very quickly we have created a skeleton, CSS HTML skeleton, and this is the HTML skeleton. So we have an outer list and then an inner list. Let me put some more items in the outer list. So maybe in this outer list, maybe let me have another list item and name it fourth, right? and maybe another list item, name it fifth, right? Okay, so, and let me copy these two guys from here, control C, and let me put them over here also. Yeah, so just, you know, I'm creating some random HTML contents and now I want to style them, eh? right? Everybody's with me, anybody, any question about list items, unordered list, ordered list, right? Everybody, please, Sanjana, you are clear about it, right? Okay, good. You can just, anybody can just, you know, uh, do this thing or maybe if you're not getting it. Okay, very good. Good to see you, Sanket. Okay. Okay, so having said this thing, let me reload this page over here. So reload and, you know, these uh, items are here, right? Now let's start styling them. So if we want to style them, let's make a CSS file right over here. So I come over here, I say new file, and maybe its name is master.css, right? So master.css, and this is here, and here I want to style, say for example, I want to style h1. So I say that h1, your font weight is bold, right? And let's see, and say, for example, we want to style both H1 and H2 with the same style. So I can say H1, comma, H2, comma, say H3. So all three of them I want to put bold. So I will say H1, comma, H2, comma, H3, right? So here I'm using comma separator, right? Here I'm using what? Comma separator. So when you are doing CSS, CSS is like, you can say that CSS is, uh, is very delicate, first of all, right? So you just miss a comma or put a comma, it will take all together different meanings of it, right? You put a space, you just skip a space. And you know, I have never seen such a sensitive entity other than CSS in, in IT area, right? Where a space matters quite a lot. Normally in computer science, we guys, you know, put spaces here and there and normally they don't make any big mess, right? But not in CSS. So in CSS, be very careful about it wherever you need to put a space, put space, wherever you need to skip a space, you have to skip it, right? So be careful about it, right? So here, you know, I have this, uh, given this union uh, kind of uh, styling, right? That uh, my selector, so this is my selector, 
and I'm saying that this style over here in these braces, it should be applied to all three of them, H1, comma, H2, comma, H3. So here I'm providing a list of tags at which I want to implement this style. Have you got it guys? Any question? Okay, good, let's see. And it is always a good choice that we keep on testing our system that whatever we are doing is working. And uh, it looks like that these headings have already got the bold style. So let me just change it just to see the change. So maybe we say font weight and maybe we say normal. Save it. And so there are some default styles which uh, browser gives by itself. Oh, it is not taking it. Why it's not taking it? Because, tell me, tell me in my ear. We have to include master.css. We have not included it, right? So we have not included it. Sometimes, you know, you see that, hey, well, it's not working. So why it's not working? Because we have not included it. So in order to include it, we link it, right? So link relationship is style sheet and we have this master. So normally we will put it in a separate folder but if folder is not there, we, we can also put it like open with the uh, HTML file, right? So since, you know, this is not a project project, this is just a learning exercise. So I'm putting them together in the same folder. So save it and uh, reload it. So you can see that it, all three of them have taken this style, right? All three of them have taken this style, right? Everybody's with me? Everybody's with me? Okay, great. So now let's, let's, you know, start doing more styling. Say for example, we want to style, maybe let, let us put some paragraph also over here. Maybe this is a paragraph. So I say that this is a random para. And maybe, you know, just copy paste it a little bit. Just copy paste it. Right. Okay. Say, for example, we want to style certain part or parts of the text with some particular color, right? And with some particular background. Right. So for example, I want to color this paragraph, this paragraph as, so let me write it over here. So I want to say this in this paragraph and I want to color you say, say background. I can use background color. I can use simple background also. Say I want to have this background of light gray Okay, light gray, light gray is not, light. yeah, so it is, it has changed the color. So now I know that I have spelled it correctly. So it is not light dash gray, it is light gray together, right? So background light gray, uh, font color, maybe white. Maybe background is just gray, right? Not light gray, font color is white and maybe uh, font weight, font weight is bold. Say I want to have these properties with this paragraph, right? Okay, save it. And I come back over here and reload it. So you can see that this paragraph is here and it has taken these properties. But say, I want to give this property to various other items also, right? Not only this paragraph, maybe I want to apply this property to H3 also, right? I want to apply this property, these properties to H3 also. Maybe I want to apply these properties some, to some particular list items also. So question arises that how can I do it? So one thing to do it is that say, for example, I can use this, uh, you know, union uh, selector that I can have this say paragraph comma H3 
right? And then whatever the element we want to style with it, we can keep on increasing this label. This is not taken as the best method to do it, right? So if we want to do such a such an uh, act that we want to deploy, we want to style various elements on a page with a common style, right? And those items could be paragraph, this could be heading, those could be like, for example, uh, list items, anything like that, right? So I, I want to style them all with the same kind of style. So the best approach is that I name these styles as a class, right? I name these styles as a class, right? Say for example, instead of P, I can say that this is my class. Not the best name, right? But just, you know, my class. And I, if I want to specify that this is a class, I need to put a dot in front of it, right? So dot my class, right? So now it is a class. And if I want to decorate items with this class, I need to go in HTML and tell, hey, paragraph, your class, is equal to my class, right? Hey, H3, your class is equal to my class, right? And if you do so, save it and uh, go back over here and reload it you can see that both the paragraph and H3 have taken this style. Are you guys quite getting it? Yes. Okay, okay, great, good. Okay, but the deal here is that normally, you know, we don't name classes like my class, their class, his class, this is not a good naming uh, convention, right? So what should we do? Normally, the best way to name classes is to name the classes that what are they doing? Right? For example, this class is going to change the color and the boldness, right? So we can say that, hey, we come over here. So instead of naming it as my class, I name it dot uh, color, main color, main color dash bold. Right? So whatever the class is doing, Right, so this is the best practice, right? Normally it happens that sometimes we name them whatever the type of components they are going to style, right? For example, main heading class or something like that. But with experience, I have learned this thing that best naming convention, you can have your own naming conventions, right? You can have even my class or maybe Camelish class or maybe Ankit class, right? But you know, best naming convention, which I have learned so far is that we name the class as per whatever they are doing, right? So main color bold, right? So this is its name and copy it. And this is CSS convention that we use dashes as separators, right? So here we change them, right? We come back over here, save it. Right, and let's style a few more elements over there so that we know that hey, all of these things are being styled like this. Maybe I can have another paragraph over here. And I don't want to style it with this class, right? And this is second para. Right, and let me put another paragraph over here. And I want to decorate it with the same class, right? So save it and go back over there, reload it. And you can see that, you know, it is working as we wanted it to work, right? So classes are to decorate various you know, a variety of components on the page, some here, some here, some there, right? So we are decorating them, right? Got it? So say for example, we want to decorate these list items, right? Say for example, we want to decorate these list items, right? 
So we can uh, make a class. For, for, for example, we want that all these list items must look italic, right? So we can come over here, we say list item, right? And we say text, uh, is it text or font style? Font style, font style, italic, right? So we want all the list items that, hey, you all list items, you go italic, right? So save it, right? And we come back over here and we reload it, right? You can see that all the list items have gone italic, right? But we say, hey, hey, this is big mess. You know, every list item has gone italic. We wanted to have only those list items which are, which are present in the unordered list. We want them to be italic, right? So we come over here and we say, hey, not all list items need to be italic. Those list items which are sitting under unordered list, UL, right? So basically style is going to apply to the rightmost element, right? So basically we say that, hey, unordered list, you unordered list, uh, you list item who is sitting within unordered list, you must get style, font style, italic, right? So basically we are going to style this like this. So we come back over here, we reload the page and you can see this thing that now only those list items who are sitting within the unordered list, they are being italicized. Right, got it? Let's do one more thing. We come over here and we say, that hey, you list items who are sitting within order list, you get bold. So font weight, bold, right? We say that hey, you list items who are sitting in the order list, you get bold, right? So save it and come back over there. So guess what, who is get, going to get bold? Ordered list. Hmm? Ordered list, list items. So which one? These, one, two, three, these three and these three? Uh, sorry, these three and these two? Yes. What about these? Or what about these? They are also going to get bold. Look at it. Right. So all of them got bold. Why all of them got bold? Because, because the selector here we are using is known as descendant selector. What is, what is it called? It is called descendant selector, right? And in case of descendant selector, it is not uh, necessary that this list item is sitting directly under unordered list or ordered list or whatever the parent is. So whatever the list item sitting, which is a descendant of ordered list, right? So look at your HTML. So look, this is the order list. These list items are, are children of this order list, also descendant of this order list, right? These list items are not children of this order list, but definitely these are descendant of this order list, right? So that is the reason since this is a descendant uh, selector. So because of this descendant selector, if a child, if, a, if a, you can say that if a, an element is a descendant of some, uh, some order list, it is going to style like this, right? So basically here, if we want that only these list items get decorated with this style, so here we need to use Parent selector, right? Greater than sign. So now it will tell that hey, hey, we don't, we want only those list items to get this style, right? Who are direct children of order list, right? Are you getting me, guys? Right. So let's save it, right? Let's save it and let's uh, reload it. Uh, right over here, let's reload it. 
and now you will see that did we save it yes we have saved it didn't we get it bold also they are still bold they should not be so we are saying that hey you so let's check this thing let's check in the inspector that why are they getting this style so inspect element let's select them let's check their style Check their style. Okay. So they are also getting bold. Okay. Okay. So let's see where I got it from. So for example, I come over here, I say CSS. Uh, parent selector. CSS parent selector and W3 CSS, right? So let's see. I don't think that I got it wrong. Might be some, okay. So there is a space here apparently. So maybe I'm missing this space and this could be the reason. Let us see. So those list items who are direct children of order list, those should get style, right? So this is our intention. We come over here, reload it. Okay. Let's try reloading it in Chrome, maybe in Edge. Uh -huh. Okay, so they are still getting this style. Uh, uh, Anybody, is any, any insight about it? Why they are getting this style? Yeah, sir. Try using plus sign. Ah, plus sign. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Plus sign is for something else. So they, let's see this thing. So this is not plus sign, my dear. Plus sign is something else. So let's see this link. Let's see what is happening. Sometimes we have to refer. So style, select any style, every P element where the parent is a Divian element, right? So I'm, I'm right about it, right? So basically this is the parent is the, so this is, this is the right thing to do. So try yourself, right? Let's try ourselves. So for example, background yellow, and this is for only those paragraphs which are sitting within the DVN, right? And this paragraph, which is not directly sitting within the DVN, right? It is not taking that style, right? Can you see this thing? Say for example, I put another DVN here. Maybe this is, maybe this, that's an article. Uh -huh. Cancel. So run. And you can see that since I place this article in between the division and paragraph, this has stopped taking that style. Can you see this thing? Right, but sometimes, you know, these list items, they are, they behave a little bit weird, don't worry. So, but I have demonstrated you that what we mean by parent selector, right? So parent selector means that image selector. So if, you know, you, you are a little bit worried about this selection 
and you don't think that it is giving a proper selection, we can do one more thing. We can say this thing. We can come over here and we can say, let's give these uh, list items some class, right? So we say class is equal to uh, class is equal to uh, top top level list items right so let me name this class top level list items and let me decorate these list items with this class save it right and okay okay so you know why is this happening because this all this thing is part of this list item so it is going to take this style right so this is this is the reason that it is taking the style continuously right so uh, yeah so this is the reason so let's don't do it in this case let's try to learn it in other setting right these list items they since they are nested so they they kind of take it themselves as one of the list item okay so we can do one more thing we can come over here maybe we create another tag over here we say that this is an article right this is an article and we want to put a decorated to the class article right and we want to put an h1 in the article this is article heading right and uh, uh, we come over here and pick these two paragraphs and put a division over here and put these paragraphs within the division, right? And come over here, cut it, and put this paragraph after the division, right? So now you can see this thing that uh, this paragraph and this paragraph, they are descendant of the article, but they are, they are not direct children of the article, right? Whereas this paragraph, is definitely the uh, direct child of the article, right? Are you getting me, guys? Everybody's getting me? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, great. So I come over here, say I want to decorate them. So I come over here, let's forget about it. And I say that, hey, one thing is that I want to decorate the article, right? So I say dot article, right? And I want to have article with a border of one pixel solid red. Right? I'm going to explore all these things with pretty much in detail. Don't worry at all, right? So one pixel solid red, right? So this is the article you know we want to have a border around it so let's go over there reload it and see that the article has taken this style right you can see that it has taken this border right so this is article heading and all around this heading we have this border right i come over here and i say that i want to target this paragraph, which is a direct descendant of this article, right? So I come over here, I say, dot article space paragraph, right? 
And since I want to have the direct child, so I can put this greater than sign over here. And I say, for example, font style italic, right? Save it and let's see how does it work. So now you'll see that these two paragraphs would not be italicized, whereas this paragraph is going to get italicized, right? So reload it and you can see that this paragraph is, has got italicized. Have you got it guys? Any questions so far? Okay, so basically, you know, this is direct descendant, right? Whereas if we say this thing over here, that hey, just this thing, save it, then all the paragraphs who are descendant of the article, they are going to get this style, right? So uh, come back over there, reload it. Now you can see that all of them are getting it at a tiny size, right? So let me come back over here and put back the greater than sign, right? And let me do one more thing. Say for example, I want to come over here and I want to say I want to say that uh, say for example, I, I, I put uh, uh, something more. So I say dot article say only paragraph, right? Not uh, the greater than sign. And say your font size is 0 0.5 rem, right? So your font size is 0 0.5 rem, right? So those paragraphs who are sitting in the article, they are going to take this style, right? So we come back over here. We come back over here. Maybe let me put a paragraph outside the article right control v and uh, i am outside the article right so this paragraph is sitting outside the article so this is not going to take this style whereas rest of the paragraphs which are who are sitting inside the article are going to take this style right are you getting me hello so save it right and come back over here reload admit and you can see this thing that these paragraphs have gone smaller, right? Whereas this paragraph is sitting still big. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. Any question guys? Okay, so anybody would tell me that what is that, what I'm teaching today? What are you studying today? Like about selector. Yes, you are studying CSS selectors. Very good, right? So basically these are CSS selectors. So what are CSS selectors? That how are we going to select various elements on a page? Right, how are we going to select various elements on the page, right? Are you getting me, everybody? Okay, great. So, so this is uh, something we have done. Right, so let us have another page and there we keep on learning some new things, right? For example, we come over here and let Excuse me, sir. It. Yes, please. Uh, can you please uh, close the inspect element or uh, it's creating little confusion? My dear, what is the question? Inspect element in the browser. Yes, sure. Inspect element in the browser, yes. Can you close it because it's creating oh, okay, a okay, for okay. reading. I, yeah. I, you want me to close it, sure. sure yes, sure. thank you. Absolutely. Any any question regarding it? Sanket, any question? No question? Yes. Okay, okay. You are comfortable now? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Okay, great. So I'm not exploring uh, many properties of CSS in this lecture because this lecture is typically about CSS selectors, right? So CSS selectors, I would say CSS selectors make like one fourth of CSS. Right. So if today we learn CSS selectors, you know, clearly it is like one fourth of CSS we have already learned. Right. So this is a very important lecture. I'm happy that everybody is here. And uh, if there's a question, do let me know. Okay. So I come over here and I create 
another page, right? So that we don't mess up uh, on one, one page. So maybe here, another file, new file, more selectors, dot HTML, right? And let me close this file and let, uh, let me have this. So this is, let me close this master CSS also. I will also create another new CSS file, right? So let me put HTML select uh, skeleton over here and let me have a Deviant. So Deviant is used to, you know, divide the page in various uh, ways, right? So here we have a Deviant. Maybe here I'm going to have a paragraph. You know, I can say this is my first para, right? And let me have another paragraph. This is a second para, right? I'm not putting too much contents, right? And now here we say another paragraph. We say third para, right? And similarly, I want to put all these things in an article. Article, so this is an article, right? Cut it, paste it over here, right? And maybe an article is going to have a header, H1. So article heading, right? So article heading is here. Maybe here we have another division right and maybe i copy this and paste this content over here right and uh, okay so and you know you must ask hey professor how can i style this thing or that thing that way you will learn a lot right so i come over here right and let me open this page first and then i will go and decorate it right so let me go back to the folder Okay, which is the more selectors, right? So this is the, okay, let's search error, second para, et cetera. Maybe I want to put a HR, horizontal rule over here, just to just for the demarcation purposes. And let me link with a CSS file. And let me name this CSS file, more selectors. Right, and let me make this file over here also. Uh, this is the folder, new file, new file, more selectors.css, right? And save it, right? And come back over here, reload it, everything is good. Right guys? Say for example, we want to decorate the first paragraph of, of a division, right? So I, I want to say that, okay, look, this is what I want to say. Say for example, I want to rec decorate a paragraph which is sitting in a division, right? So I will decorate it like this. Right, so I can say that, hey, your font style is italic, right? So all these paragraphs were sitting inside the division will take this style. Let me put few paragraphs which are not sitting inside the division. Maybe we have a paragraph over here, P, I am outside the division, right? And maybe another paragraph over here, I am outside the division, right? So I'm outside the division, right? So basically these are sitting outside the division and we come back over here and now you'll see that those paragraphs who are sitting inside the division are going to take the style, but those paragraphs who are sitting outside the division are not going to take the style. Right, got it? No? Okay, 
if we want that, hey, these paragraphs should take the style who are sitting with the art within the article, right? So I can come over here and I can replace this division by article, right? So I can say, hey, these paragraphs who are sitting with the, within the article must take this style, right? So I save it and go back over here, reload, and you can see this thing that all the paragraphs have taken the style, right? Because all of them are sitting within the article, right? If I want to put a few paragraphs outside the article, maybe let me put this entire DVN, control C, right? Control V. So I can say outside the article. Maybe another HR over here, HR, horizontal rule. And let me copy this. Save it, right? And come back over here, reload it. And you can see that those who are sitting outside the article, they are not taking that style, right? Okay. Now, for example, I just don't want to have all the paragraphs who are sitting in the article take this style. I want the direct children of the article take this style, right? So, so basically not everybody, but those paragraphs who are direct children, right? So save it, right? And uh, come back over here. And now you can see that they are not going to get the style, but this one is going to get the style or this one is going to get the style. Everybody's with me? Please don't, uh, you know, uh, just sit idly or don't, don't get lost, right? So just, you know, stay with me. If there's a question, do ask it, right? And learn everything, whichever, whatever is being covered from within the class. Got it? Okay, say for example, let me make it a little bit more complicated. I want to say this thing that that article was styled with this article. Right? So its immediate children should take this style. Right? So if I do this thing, right? If I do this thing, I come back over here you can see that nobody is going to take the style because this article is not a class defined in the uh, in HTML yet. So uh, not uh, given uh, in HTML yet. So I can come over here, right? Maybe uh, I can give this article a class with the name, this article, right? So now this is an article with the name this article and we are saying that hey you article right who is decorated with the class this article your immediate children paragraphs are going to uh, take this style right got it save it and we come back over here reload and now you can see that they are going to take this time, right? Say for example, if we put a space over here, right? Now this is altogether different. Now this is altogether different because here, now we are saying that, hey, we want to decorate this paragraph who is the who is a child of some element which is decorated by the class this article and that is sitting with an article are you getting me right and that is sitting within the article right so basically this is this if we say so just by putting this space this style would be gone Hey, are you getting me, right? If we want to do something like this, we, we can do this thing. For example, I can come to this, I can come to this Dwayne, and instead of having this class over here, 
I give this class over here. Right now, this is a paragraph which is the direct descendant, which is with these are the paragraphs who are direct descendant of a deviant who is decorated by this article and it is sitting in an article. Right, it is going to style, right? So let's go here and let's see that is it going to style? Yes, they are going to style. Right, and if I do this thing, if I come over here, maybe I copy this entire thing from here, control C, and place it outside the article. Right, place it outside the article. Now you can see, I am sitting inside this article class, but not in an article, right? Now you see that it is not going to style it, right? So, so come back over here, reload and look, this is not taking the style, right? Style was italicized. So these paragraphs are taking the style, right? Hello? Okay. Right. Okay, say for example, you want to give a style, a particular style to the first paragraph of a deviant, right? So I want to say that, hey, every deviant Go to your paragraphs, and if it is your first of type, first of type, right? So if this paragraph is first of type, then your color is blue. So what and does a first of type mean? First of type mean that uh, within its uh, parent, whoever is the first of that type will take this type, hmm. right? So let, let me show you this thing, right? And maybe let's color it red, right? I don't like red, but red is striking, you know, like you are visible to you also over the internet. So first of type, right? So we come over here. Reload it. Right, you can see this thing. In every division, the first paragraph is taking that style. Kamilish, you have a question? No? Okay. Uh, yes. Can you just show me the C uh, CSS file sir, once? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So we are saying that, hey, oh, okay. right, I new paragraph, was... right? who is first of type, right? Who is first of type, right? And sitting within a deviant must take this style. Any question? So I have one question in the uh, class file, dot class file. Uh, yes, please. Uh, it is necessary to mention uh, article tag, uh, like if you only mention dot class file, then it will uh, make the changes, no? Uh, say it again. I quite could could not quite get it. You are referring to yeah number one, line number yeah line number one in uh, CSS dot CSS file line number one in CSS file. So, so we have to we have to mention article tag without article tag also it will uh, reflect the changes now. Oh, okay, okay. This is a good question. So the deal here is that if I don't give this thing, hmm. right? If I don't give this thing, it would mean that any paragraph who is the direct child of this article will, will get this style, right? Mm -hmm. But if I say this thing, it means that first of all, it has to sit in an article, then it has to sit within uh, some element who is decorated with this article, and then it should be a paragraph. And mm -hmm. it should be a direct child of this article. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. Got it? Yeah. Very good. Okay. So having said this thing, so we, we have seen quite a bit of selectors. Now let us do one thing. There is a beautiful website. And this is the beauty of web that we all web developers actually make it and make use of it together and we help each other. So here we have this website with the name CSS Diner. It is the best website to, in my opinion, to learn CSS selectors. Okay, how does it work? Look, so this is a table. Can you, can you see over here? Can you see the font and everything? Yes, yes. Okay, good. So we have this table, right? And this is, you can say that, you can see this thing that this is a Debian with the class table. And over here, we have various food items placed, right? Which is good, has gone to 17 suddenly. So let me bring it to number one, right? So number one. So for example, this is a table and we have plates placed over here, right? So we have one plate, we have second plate, and we want to select both of these two plates because they are vibrating, right? So we have to select both of these two plates, right? So question is that how can we select them, right? So here we have to type the selector, right? Right over here where it is blinking. So for example, if we want to select both the plates, please tell me, anybody? If we want to select the plates, we will say. Last name, we can write plate. Plate. So basically tag, tag name, right? Yeah. Plate. So if we say plate, it will get selected. Right? And now here what's happening that we have the same table. Here we have bento and then a plate and then another bento. And we want to see, we want to select both the bentos, right? So what we have to say over here, please. Just bento. Bento, right? So they will be selected. Now here we have same table. We have one plate whose ID is fancy. Right now here we have the ID, right? Whose ID is fancy. Then we have a plate, then we have a bento. And we want to select this plate whose ID is fancy. That has ID or that has fancy. Yeah, has ID fancy, right? So what can we select? How can we do this? Hash, hash fancy. Hash fancy, right? Hash fancy, right? So it will be selected. Now we have again the same plate, uh, same table. We have bento, we have a uh, plate and there's an apple within the plate, right? Can you see this thing? There is a plate and there's an apple within the plate and then there is an apple sitting over here also. So question is that we want to select this apple over here. So how we are going to do it? Plate, then space, apple. Plate, space, apple, right? So anybody who, who wants to say that, hey, hey, it should be apple. No, then both apple uh, will. Then, you know, we will be selecting both the apples, right? We don't want to select both the apples. We want to select only that apple who is sitting within the plate. So we can say plate space apple or plate greater than sign apple. Both of them are going to work, right? Because apple is a direct child, right? Apple is a child of plate, right? So basically both of them are going to work. Let's apply them, right? So this is good. Okay, now we have uh, one cucumber sitting in this fancy plate and another cucumber which is sitting in plate, right? So if we say plate space cucumber, is it cucumber? Pickle. Pickle. No, pickle. Right? Is it pickle? Where is the pickle? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, this is pickle. So plate space pickle. So is it both, going to work? Both pickle will be selected. Both are going to be selected, right? So what should I do? And ID give ID hash and 
fancy space speaker yes hash fancy space speaker but everybody must contribute right not uh, i don't want to hear only one contribution everybody must contribute this would be great thank you very much right but you know if nobody is speaking then who is speak whoever is speaking is 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 great right i don't stop him right this is good that you are speak, speaking but everybody must speak right and you know worst come you would be wrong and there is no harm in it you are here to learn right so save your wisdom for your tests right or whenever you would be working it on a mostly right so hash fancy space pickle we could have done this also because this is direct child also Excellent. right so we could have done this thing also right so both of them are correct uh, anybody any opinion sir if we uh, only give id and we don't mention pickle still uh, it will select pickle only because the, this is very ID. good question who is asking so sanket sanket so the yeah. deal is that if my dear if we don't say pickle over here it means that we want to select the plate oh oh yeah right okay right. so basically yes, we don't want to select the plate we want to select the pickle, pickle actually right so that's oh, the yeah. reason that we have to say pickle yes as i said earlier that either you can give space or you can give this greater than sign both of them are going to work in this case yeah. okay great good so now here we have we have three apples right and we have these two apples which we want to select right so let's see what are these apples we want to select so for example this is an apple with a class small right and this is another apple with a class small and this apple is not decorated with any class right so if you want to select a tag which is decorated with a class right so you say for example apple dot small no space look if we put a space over here it means that we want to select something with the name small with with the class small right which is sitting under apple mm. if we put a comma over here it means that we want to select apple and something which is decorated with the class small right but here we have to say apple dot small apple dot small mean apple dot small means that we want to select that apple who is decorated with the class small so uh, we can just uh, type dot small it will still work right uh yeah you're very right very right uh, if we say just over here dot small it will still work bilkul right excellent right so but if we have something else over here maybe an orange sitting over here and that is also decorated with the small class right then it will not work yeah okay. very good very good i am happy right so you can say apple dot small or you can say simply small both of them are going to work right got it sanjana you are happy okay now here it comes right so now we want to uh, select orange right which is small right that orange who is small but we don't want to so here if we say dot small it's not going to work right let me try yeah because yeah. Uh, multiple uh, tags because are having are same small, class right because yeah. apples are also small right so yeah. if we want to select that those oranges right who are small then we'll say orange dot small right then we are going to say orange dot small right have you got it okay if say for example we wanted to select only this last orange not this orange over here what should we say plate uh, dot uh, space small so we can say plate space, space orange dot. dot small right uh, okay we can also say uh, this thing that plate space dot small yeah if this plate over here is containing a small apple also then it is not going to work yeah. right 
right? So currently we are going to say, currently we are going to say orange dot small, right? Currently we are going to say orange dot small, right? Have you got the idea? Everybody? Okay. So now, now we want to do that thing, right? What is that? What should we do? Tell me. Yes, yes. Somebody is trying to talk. Please try it again. You have to unmute yourself before you talk. Ankit, you want to say something? Uh, huh? Bento space orange dot small. Very good. So we, we will say bento space orange dot small. Orange, right? So do you think that bento space orange would also work? Yeah. No. Why not? Why not? Because it is, it will try to select this, this one also. also. Right? Yeah. So we have to say bento. Uh, and what about this thing? Bento space dot small. It will consider the apple also. It will, it will try to select the apple also, which we don't want. So here we'll say bento space orange dot small. Right? Got it? Okay, now here we go. What is this? What we want to select? Select all the plates and bentos, right? So we want to select plates and bentos, right? So what, what are we going to say? Pick plate. Plate. Comma. No, no, look, they are not trying to select okay. these pickles. They are saying that uh, select all the plates and bentos, Plate. right? Okay. So we say plate, comma, bento, right? So basically this is like comma, minor, right? So by using comma, we can give a style to various elements, right? This is the first thing I taught you today. Everybody is good with it, right? Yes. So we'll say plate, comma, bento, right? And it has been selected. So now we want to select all the things, right? Now we want to select all the things. So if you want to select all the things, it is asterisk, yeah. right? If you want to select all the thing, it is asterisk, right? So it will select all the things. So select everything on a plate, right? So we want to select all the descendants of the plate, right? So we'll say plate space asterisk. Right, everything on the plate, so plate, space, asterisk, right? So everything on the plate will get selected, right? Okay, now here we are, we want to, so this is something new, I did not tell you. So this is sibling uh, selector. So sibling means that, look, uh, let me take you to the HTML. So here you can see this thing that, this article is a parent and this h1 and this division and this paragraph and this hr this division and then this paragraph all of them are its children does it make sense guys yes sir. everybody right and all of them relative to each other are sibling Right? These are what? These are sibling relative to each other, right? So basically, if we want to select, uh, select a sibling, which is coming after one particular sibling, we use plus sign. Right? We use plus sign for that purpose, right? So we can come over here and we can say, we come over here, say, for example, what do we want to select? We want to select those elements who are sitting, who are sibling and sitting right after plates, right? So we'll say plate, 
plus asterisk, Got right? It. Anything which is sitting after the plate, right? So we want to select that. Are you getting me? Should I reverse it? Right, so basically we want to select the immediate sibling of the plate, right? Yes. So not these, right, just immediate one, right? So we will say once again, we'll say plate plus asterisk. We could have say, said plate plus apple. apple also, right? We could have said plate plus apple also. It is equally good in this setting. Okay, so here now tell me, select the pickle besides the bento. Bento plus pickle. So look, bento plus pickle is going to select this pickle only, right? Uh, then the RP. So so basically, it is going to select this pickle only. So if we say bento plus pickle, right? Are you checking it? No, 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 no. It's, it's selecting only this one, right? So basically, this is this is not going to work. So then we have this tilde. So we are saying that those pickle who are sibling of bento after the coming after the bento, right? So here we have used we use this tilde tilde operator for for all the siblings coming after a particular sibling, right? So basically we say bento tilde pickle, so then it is going to work. If we say, if we would have said bento tilde asterisk, it's not going to work because then it will try to select this pickle this pickle, this plate, and this plate also, which is not our intention, right? Got it, right? So here we say bento space pickle. Okay, so we want to select an apple, which is directly on a plate, right? So if we say plate space apple, is it going to work? Why not? It will select the uh, uh, first apple. It will try to select not only this apple, but also this yes. apple, right? So what should we do over here? Uh, the greater than. Greater than sign. So we want to select that apple who is sitting directly into the plate, right? That is sitting directly into the plate, right? Have you got it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. So great. So here now we have a list, right? And we have oranges, right? This is one orange. This is second orange. This is third orange, right? And we want to select this last orange, right? We want to select this last orange, right? So once again, which one they want to select. So if we look, we want, don't want to select this. We don't want to select this. Okay, yeah, we want to select this one, right? First one, right? So we can come over here. We can say uh, orange colon. So here they, they ask us that use first. first child, right? But this is not the best option, right? First child, uh, I will teach you this thing in JavaScript. First child, most of the time messes up, right? Don't use it, right? So basically, I love to use first of type, right? Orange, colon, first of type, right? We, we can use first child also, but better is first of type. Let me use first child also. So if I say orange colon first child, it will also work. Right? Got it? 
Sanjana, are you getting me? Let me ask everybody. So, and in this way, we will get to know you guys also. So, let me come over here. Let me ask Prithvi, you are getting me? Sanjana, Menthan, yeah. Kamalesh, yes, Murali Dhar, Ankit, yes, sir. and Naresh, Shilander. Naresh, are you getting me? Yes, sir. Shilander, are you getting me? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Danush? Yes, sir. Sankit? Yes, sir. And who else? Did I miss somebody? Did I miss someone? Because, you know, my view flips sometime and some people who are in the first view get changed into the second view all of a sudden. So please let me know if you are not quite getting it, right? So that I can address your issues, okay? I hope that you are getting it, okay? Okay, so now the deal is that select apple and pickle on the plate. Plate. Right? So, Come on, pickle. so what can we do over here? Yes. So we can say, look here, you know, we don't use every selector in our life, right? So this is, since this is academics, I'm teaching you everything, right? But we don't use every selector, right? So we can say, for, for example, over here, plate, image child, apple, comma, plate, image child, pickle, right? It is going to work, right? We want to select that apple, apple who is immediate type a uh, child of plate and that pickle also who is immediate child of uh, plate, right? So this is definitely going to work, right? But here they want us to use something else, right? So we want to say the plate, select an immediate child of plate, maybe anything you want to select, but that thing should be the only child, right? So basically uh, we are going to select this apple and this uh, pickle, but not these oranges because here we have two children of this plate, right? So whereas this is our only child, right? Got it? But well, you know, I have never used it. So, and plus this uh, first child, last child, only child, all these are troubled selectors, right? I have seen quite a bit of trouble with them, right? So, but if you want, you can use that, right? Any question? Okay, now we want to select small apple and pickle. So small apple and small pickle, right? So please see how you are going to do it. Plate. Hmm? plate, you said? Yeah, plate. Plate. Image child. No. Apple. Apple. Comma. comma. Pickle. Pickle. Definitely it is going to select, right? Very clear. But here they want you to have this practice last child, right? So what's happening here is that this apple is the, is the first and only and the last child of this plate, right? And this is the fancy plate, right? And this is fancy. So fancy last child. And then we want to have the last child of the, of the table also, right? We want to have the last child of the table also, right? So basically, we want to have, so if we want, we can use this, right? But let me go back and give you that practice also. Try it yourself, right? Try it yourself. So we come over here and here, we want to select the third plate, right? Say for example, 
uh, we want to select the first plate, second plate, or maybe even of them, right? Or maybe odd of them, right? So how to use it? So for example, for, let me let me go to my uh, uh, my uh, editor and uh, let me create a new file over here for you. Mm. New file. Uh, nth of type, huh? Nth of type dot HTML. And let me put this scaffold and let me put an order list and let me put list item. Um, first, first step. Give me a minute. This is this has gone stuck. Okay, Control Z, Control Z. So first, okay. List item, second, list item, third, right? List item, fourth, list item, fifth, list item, six. Right, so let me open this page for you. Let me open this page for you. Mm. Nth of type, right? And say out of these list items, let me have internal style over here. Since I am, you know, just giving a little bit of style. Say for example, I want to target list items, but I want to target a particular one of them, right? Maybe first of type, right? So first of type, right? And say, I want to say color, Red, right? So list item, and I want to target the list item who is first of the type, and in particular, I want to target them who are sitting in an order list, and maybe who are direct descendant of order list, right? So save it and reload it. So you can see that it has targeted the first item, right? Uh, if I want to target the last one, right? I come over here, I say, C, control V, instead of la first of type, I use last of type, right? Maybe color yellow, right? Got it? Yes. So look, it is going to have a yellow color, right? And say for example, I come over here, I say order list, list item, and I say nth of type, nth of type, right? And here I say even, right? Nth of type even, and maybe I want to italicize it, right? So font style, say bold. What, what is the difference between font style and font weight? Font style is like whether it is italicized or not like italicized. You can see these things, right? So for example, let me, here you are not going to get auto suggestions, but if you go to a CSS file, there you get the suggestions, right? So weight is like 
heavy slide, right? Italic is style is like slanting or not slanting, right? Camelish. Okay, so save it and come back here. So we have said that even one is going to get what? Even one is going to get bold, right? So even one is going to get bold. So reload. So I am not using nth of type properly. So let me see CSS nth nth of type. And we can see, we can check the reference, right? So nth of type, right? Selector nth of type. So we come over here. So basically nth of type like two, right? So basically it is okay, right? So now I get it. So we come back over here and instead of even, we say two n, right? We say two n, right? So we come back. Reload the page. So it will come uh, n th uh, th n th yeah n th yes yeah. oh, yeah. yes th yes yeah. even also yes yes I am just I was just putting n and what is happening you know okay so we come here and oh did we say it? so. 2n will not work, uh, it will work like u1 or 2, just 2. No, 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 it should work, 2n should also work. So we need to check this thing that was wrong here, definitely, because, uh, you know, nth of type is at this, and number, and odd even should work also with it, right? And these things also, okay, plus zero, I need to say zero, plus zero maybe, and it should work. So maybe I can say over here, E1, right? Save it and go back, reload. Something is broken. Don't worry, there is no code without a break. Okay, nth of type and E1 font style, maybe let me open a CSS file pretty quickly. Copy this CSS, you know, auto suggestions are very important. Okay, so this is my CSS and let me create space over here and it will tell me that what is the issue. Okay. So, okay, 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 font weight. I wanted to say font weight and wrote font style and bold goes with font weight actually, right? Not font style, right? This was the issue. So let me just so cut it from here. Right, and come back over here and paste it over here, right? Yeah, so this was issue was somewhere else. So here now you can see that it is going to take second, fourth, they are going to take the code, right? Uh, so I can say this thing also, I can say if, instead of even, I can also say 2n, right? If I say 2n like a formula, it will work the same way, right? I can say, I can say 2n plus one, right? I can say 2n plus one, so it would be odd, right? So I can come over here. So you can see that first, third, and fifth item has taken the style, right? So basically you can have like, uh, sometimes you see that uh, there's a table with one row which is uh, gray and next row is white and next row is gray and then white, right? So this is something we do with this typical thing, right? Got it? Hello, everybody. Yes, sir. Okay, cool. So this is something we can do here. 
so coming back to the CSS dialer and let's see what does he want, right? So we want to select the third plate. So we will say plate colon nth of type and type would be 3n, right? So it would it is going to select this third plate, right? So this is selected. Got it? And you have also learned that, you know, how do we typically use it? Okay, and here we want to select uh, what? Select the first bento, right? So first of type, right? So look, so if I say, if I say asterisk colon first of type, right? So what, what is going to happen? It is going to select, it is going to select everything which is coming first. So first plate of the table, first bento of the table, first orange of the table, first orange in a plate. So every first, 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 first thing is going to be selected. Whereas we want to select only a bento who is first of the type, right? So we say bento, right, colon first of type, right? That, hey, you bento who is the first of its type, right? You get selected, right? Got it? So, oh. Where is the first spell? spell. Oh, yeah. F I R S T, right? Okay. And then we have this what we are select first apple. So, again, apple dot first of type. As apple colon first of type, right? So apple colon first of type. Okay, now you tell me. Who is going to tell me? Plate colon nth of type two n. Very good, right? So plate colon nth of type two n, right? So plate colon nth of type within bracket 2n, right? So plate colon nth of type within bracket 2n. Very good. So second plate starting from the third, right? So now, Right, so plate colon what nth of type what three plus two n three plus two n very good so basically it is two n plus three right so three plus two n or two n plus three right because we want to start from the third plate. Right, and then we want to go from there. So 2n plus 3, and it is going to select. Okay, then next is select the apple on the middle plate. Yes. Plate um, greater than sign apple dot. Plate, plate greater than sign apple dot dot small is it going to work guys hello don't you think it is going to select this apple also yeah yeah, yeah. this one yes that is also so Plate greater than sign. Yes. So this apple is definitely only child is probably going to work. So apple colon 
only child right this is definitely going to work right but something else so there is like apple colon only of type we don't use it normally right so on uh, that child that apple who is only child of his parents right so yeah sometimes we use it so last of type right so we can say uh right last of type we can say apple dot last of type a uh, colon last of type and orange colon last of type right so we can say this thing yeah i think this is this is something they want us to do so i think that i will stop here maybe you can try rest of the levels yourself right and i will discuss them briefly tomorrow i want to have a few minutes uh, with you guys to ask that if there is any any question yes any question so in today's lecture and maybe in tomorrow's lecture also we will discuss a little bit about selectors right and uh, uh, it is going to give us quite pretty good idea that how do we select things with uh, css and as i said earlier that selector makes like uh, at least 25% of css right once you know selectors life is so easy not only in css but also in javascript right which will be starting pretty soon any question guys okay so your homework is that you will complete the rest of these levels right and let me know okay so i will stop over here and uh, if you want to have me for your office hours i am available right now other you, otherwise you can simply drop out thank you very much i will see you all tomorrow goodbye danush your question